Here's a 1-0. And on the ground, Swanson, he's got it to his feet, throw to first. This play sent the Atlanta Braves to the 2021 World Series. And the tomahawk chop sent social media spiraling once again. The chop is the mock Native American champ beloved by most Braves fans, but despised and deemed defensive by so many others. While it's unclear when the chop officially became a home game tradition, some point to the early 90s. That's when former Florida State University player turned NFL Hall of Famer Deion Sanders donned a Braves uniform. Florida State, if you didn't know, also has a similar chant. Since then, there have been campaigns to rid sports teams of Native American names and imagery. Hence teams like the Washington football team dropping Redskins from its name and the Cleveland Indians becoming the Guardians next season. But no retreat from the Braves. The organization is quick to point out its long-standing relationship with the local band of Cherokee Indians. MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred spoke on the issue before Game 1 of the World Series. We, the community, perceives the gesture, and I think in Atlanta, as I said before, they've done a great job with the Native Americans. I think the Native American community is the most important group to decide whether it's appropriate or not, and they have been unwaveringly supportive of the race. The National Congress of American Indians, the largest organization representing Indians in the U.S., fired back. In our discussions with the Atlanta Braves, we have repeatedly and unequivocally made our position clear. Native people are not mascots. And degrading the rituals like the tomahawk chop that dehumanize and harm us have no place in American society. The chop debate rages on Twitter. This Twitter user wrote, not a cancel culture person at all. But how is the Braves' tomahawk chop still an okay thing to do in today's world? And one Braves fan tweeted, chop on with this gif. Should the Braves continue to chop it up or not? Let me know in the comments below.